Hi again everybody, Cynthia here from Australia. Today we're going to make, hopefully, um, make one of these little birdhouses. I won't be able to make it exactly how Anne asked me to with this lace, and I, I haven't got any of it left, well I have, but you know, it, it's not enough to do the whole little birdhouse, so I'll be using this lace which I don't think is really, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter what lace you use. But the layout will be the same. So, um, to start with, we have our measurements. This is all approximate. Please, use your own. Um, this is for the front and the back. 12 centimetres by 8 centimetres. You need to cut two. Okay, two need to cut two of everything that I'm telling you, please. Um, the sides, once again, eight centimetres by seven and a half, two. And the roof, we need eight and a half centimetres by approximately seven and a half centimetres. Yep, by two. Okay. One, once we've done that, and we've got our front and back here, need you to measure about a third of the way up. Now, with this being the 12 centimetres, um, that would be, you know, around the 8 centimetre mark. And I just want you to put a little mark here, and then on the other side a little mark. need you to find the middle. Okay, this is 8 centimetres across, so obviously it will be the 4. Then just join up those two. Okay. Once that's done, just need you to cut those two off. Okay? So we've got only on one, please, only on one. Okay? We need to do it on cardstock, a bit thicker than cardstock, cardboard. This is an old ice cream box. Okay? We're going to paint that up, paint it whatever colour you'd like. Um, use whatever you'd like on it and once that's dry okay on one of the front and backs I need you to mark a circle okay wherever you'd like the little hole for our birds to get in and out of okay this little hole here so you can have it huge small whatever size you want once we've marked that Get your little exacto knife and very carefully, please be careful with your knives or however you're comfortable in cutting, cut out your circle. It does not have to be a perfect circle. I don't know if you can see that, it's very crooked and whoopity. Make sure you're painting the inside of that as well, okay? Maybe just on the corners in here. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, everybody. Get your trusty glue gun or whatever you like to use for your um, gluing together. Remember that there's sides. I don't know if you can see that. Some are different sides. You can just see the difference in there. Make sure that you get the two sides that fit, the two sides that fit. Okay. Get your glue gun. Remember you've already painted all of this up to whatever colour you want. If you want pinks, blues, greens, whatever colour you want. Okay? Make sure once again you've got the you're doing it to the right side to the right side. Don't worry if it's out a little bit, a little bit sticking out because you're going to embellish this. Um, so don't panic that you can see some glue or you can see how it's just a little bit off there don't worry honestly it's not going to hurt it um, as I said you're going to be embellishing this um, with all your bits and pieces along the side so you know don't don't go into panic mode with it um, You just need to make sure that your sides and front and whatever is sticking. That's your main goal. 
okay you don't need a bottom but if you want a bottom on it go right ahead and just cut a one of the squares and add it to it all right but you don't need a bottom to it because we're going to cover it um, with either a bit of lace or a doily and you just stick that on the bottom so please don't don't panic about um, a bottom for it unless you don't want the doily on it and you just want the, the, the square or to make it look that choice is totally up to you I've done one with the doily on it and one without the doily on it so you know there we go stick that stick that it's taken a little while but the glue sometimes doesn't burn me sometimes it gets quite hot depending on how long it's been on and it really burns but most times it's pretty good for some reason I found that the low temperature stuff does not work for me so I don't even bother buying it but okay it's cut me very quickly once you've cut this once you've painted it your it you know it comes together so very quickly um, you don't have to worry about how you know how long it's going to take because it's virtually it comes together as quick as what you can put your glue on and your glue dries that's why I prefer the hot glue gun because it does it so much quicker and once it's on, it's on. So quick. If you make a mistake, nine times out of ten, you can normally just re-go across. You know that once you reheat your glue, the glue underneath will re-melt. So... Um, you can hit it with your heat gun if you have a heat gun. Okay. Um, or as I said, just re-glue it with your glue because it, your glue will re-melt re it. So, which is great. Right. Here we go, everybody. Okay. Quick, easy, and nearly done. Okay. Right. And that's that's it. It's put together. Make sure you try and get off all your little, because they drive you everyone insane. That time they made some glue sticks that don't do that, but I don't think that's going to happen in a hurry. Okay. So very quick, very easy once you've done your painting. Your painting... As I said, do it whatever colour. This I've just used um, some paper. Okay. It's just some paper that I found. Double sided paper. I you normally just glue it straight on. Uh, glue it, yeah. Glue it straight on and then just cut around. Okay. Um, and then I sprayed it with um, just some of my glimmer mist that I've made. Okay. And then let that dry and comes up very good okay so that's done there now as I said I'm sure most ladies know how to make these little round flowers you've got your long bit of lace okay so in out in out in out it then comes around into a nice big round circle and you get your flower Okay, I'm going to glimmer mist this, well it's not glimmer mist, it's home mist, so the same colour as what the birdhouse is, I should have done it at the same time but I didn't think, what I'm also going to do is also do the lace so that it also will come up to the same colour, okay, it's good. Lots of noise, everyone. Okay, heat it off. Okay, once 
once it's done you may want to hit it again with some more mist choice is up to you I do I think it's too pink for what's there and we're virtually nearly ready to go on the decorations and embellishing now whatever you want to embellish it with please get it ready um, and we'll see what we can do as I said it's very hard to get bits and pieces here in Perth um, to get chipboard it's around four dollars for a sheet so that's why I use a lot of offcuts and cardboards um, of these flowers I got from eBay and some of my eBay stores even actually turn around and say after I've bidden one sorry we don't deliver to Australia and it's like what? so but anyway I got these and that's good um, these little pearls are the stick-on pearls um, that I just got from a I found it at a shop called Rave here in Perth and they're really good it was two dollars for this sheet and as you can see there was quite a few on there you can see each one um, and the laces I actually very lucky I got them from a place in Geraldton which is around 400 kilometers away my darling was working up there and um, before he had his accident and uh, they had a beautiful scrapbooking place there and I was able to get some lace but they ran out so can't get any more of that lovely lace that I like so much they're trying to get this one back in but they may not be able to um, actually I just had a thought now that my darling's off work for the next three months I may have to go back up to Geraldton and with him and see if we can go back to that nice little scrapbooking place they had so much more than what they've actually got in Perth City unbelievable okay ladies I'll leave this the embellishing for round two for video two and gentlemen I apologize I keep saying ladies I do mean everybody take care and we'll talk to you soon